welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be making a Fiverr gig and selling my art on Fiverr. So how it's gonna be is I've already created my gig and my Fiverr account. This is what it looks like. So my gig is that I will draw anything that the buyer asks me to. That would be you guys. I'm so excited for this video. I saw 1000 actually did this challenge. She actually did it twice and I watched both of the videos and they were so much fun. So that's why I really wanted to try it out for myself. And also Miracons, I've got exciting news. If you don't already know, my coloring book, All Things Mia Fizz, is now out and available for you to buy from the link in the description or you can head over to shopmeaslife.com. Like I literally spent such a long time on this and I can't believe it's actually like an official book now and I actually have two books I cannot believe it I remember when I was 14 in December yeah that was when I just on my 14th birthday around about that time I wrote because I was writing out my goals so one of my 10 years goals was I think it was to have three or four or something like that a couple of books that I'd written. Only a year and a half later, I already have two books out, which is insane. And both of them were actually Amazon bestsellers. Manifestation, you can manifest anything. Anyway, Viacons, so I'm now gonna be making my gig live, and then I'm gonna do a stories to let you guys know that I'm gonna be selling my art. <laughs> and my gig has now been out for a few hours, and so many of you guys have already made an order, and I'm now gonna be getting started in the drawing. There are actually loads of you guys that are asking me to draw your dog which I'm really excited about because I love drawing dogs. Let's get started. And I just finished drawing my first illustration for this challenge and this drawing was for Mia's fizzy fan and she asked me to draw a basset hound because it's her family's favorite dog. So this is what it's come out like in the end. I'm actually really happy with how this came out like and I hope she likes it. Or he, I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl. <laughs> is now the next day so last night I actually had to pause my gig because literally so many people have ordered pictures like I'm gonna be busy these next days because there are so many drawings for me to do which I'm really excited about so today I'd like to do three drawings get three done so that I can get them all delivered on time because I don't want to be late for you guys so the first one that I'm gonna do is please can you try and draw this picture of a character from a show so I'm gonna do that and then I've got this request can you design the attached photo please for my friend's b-day she is the biggest fan of yours and loves you so much oh I hope you have a really nice birthday I would love if you could draw some cows in the photos her favorite animal and then right happy 16th birthday Lottie love from Lydia feel free to add any messages from you for her thank you so much Mia you are the best and are so inspirational to many thank you so much Lydia and it's really kind of you to do this drawing ask me to do the drawing for Lottie so happy 16th birthday Lottie if you're watching this video and I'm now gonna get started on that and then the next request I've got is to draw this butterfly so I'm gonna be trying to draw those now Let's get drawing. I'm living my life. Don't need you in mind. Me feeling just fine. One of a kind. Who better than I? Oh, 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 oh. Shout it, don't play that game. Shout it, don't play that game. I won't keep you safe. Time that I'll be okay. I don't play that game. Shout it, don't play that game. I don't mind. And this is my finished cow drawing for Lottie. And then I've got my finished butterfly drawing here and also this drawing is all finished now. And Kirsty asked me to draw a picture of her cat, Max. So what I decided to do is I drew the whole cat and then I realized that the picture, it just didn't feel like enough, especially in comparison to some of the other drawings. Like there wasn't that much detail I could add to the cat because it's not color. So I decided to add a little bit of a background to this one since it was quite plain in comparison to some of the other ones I've done. So I hope you like this, Kirsty. And then for the next one, they asked me to draw a picture of her and her friend when they were babies. And honestly, I thought this was such a cute idea. So this is what my drawing came out like. I tried really hard with this one. It actually took me a few tries. I like did the face and then I had to raise it and start over again. It, it wasn't looking right. So I tried my best with this one. It's quite tricky. Like I'm still learning how to draw faces where it actually looks like the person. Like I can make it look like a person. It's still tricky for me to do that. But then to make it look exactly like the person is quite tricky. Like I can make it look like a person, but then to look like this, the person I'm drawing, does that make sense? Anyways, yeah, so that was quite tricky, but 
Um, they actually gave me a five star review, which I'm happy about, so thank you for that. So that's another two more drawings. That is actually all of the drawings for my basic $5 gig. So this one was actually $10 because it was two figures, but all of the other ones have been $5 up to now. So my next one that I'm going to be doing, they've asked me to draw their chocolate Labrador. So I'm now gonna get started on that. And this is actually a $25 one because they've asked me to do the standard gig which is where I make it into a digital drawing and then they've also asked me to make it color so this is gonna be fun and I really love drawing dogs so let's get started my sketch of it. Here we go Miracorns, this is what it looks like. It was actually really tricky to draw though because it took me a while because of the perspective of it. I've never drawn a dog from that sort of like perspective so to get the body to look right it's quite tricky but I think I managed to do it okay so now I need to get my iPad and take a picture of it and then start outlining it. So I've now completely finished this drawing. This is the paper or it's on paper I guess. So I just remembered that she actually asked me to do some flowers or bones in the background. So I decided to do some abstract flowers. So I hope she likes that. And then this is my digital one which I've been working on. It actually took me a while because I wanted to make it look like fur, like there to be texture, different shades in the fur. So it kind of was a bit of an experimentation process since I haven't really done a digital drawing of a dog before. So that was loads of fun. Now let's do the next drawing. So the next request is, hi Mia, it would mean the world to me if you could draw my doggy Daisy. I love you and your channel so much. You're my idol. Aw, thank you. So her dog Daisy is absolutely adorable. So I can't wait to start drawing this one. She actually said that the dog looks a bit like the Gruffalo in my drawing, so um, I know what she means. I don't know how that ended up happening, but I am quite happy with this, how this came out. I absolutely love the ponytail. It is so adorable. I can't get over how cute this dog was. This is my digital drawing as well. I decided to leave in the, the picture of the sketch as well because I felt like it added some nice texture. Like I like it when digital drawings kind of almost look like, not necessarily like they're real like paper drawings, but like when they have some sort of texture. So I just faded it in the background and it actually, I quite like that effect. I've never tried it before, but I liked how it came out. So I hope she likes it as well. And Miracorns, guess what? That is actually gonna be the last drawing I'm doing for this whole challenge. This honestly was so much fun. And look, Miracorns are all of my drawings together. I can't believe I actually managed to do all of these. And in total, I managed to make $72 from all of my drawings, which is absolutely amazing. Fiverr is honestly such a cool app. Like, it's such a cool, I guess it's an invention, isn't it? Because anyone in the world can put a gig up onto Fiverr if they have a service that they can provide someone, and then anyone in the world can use it, like, make money from that way, which is absolutely amazing. Lots of people people I know actually use as their job as well or as an extra source of income. But what I'm gonna do with my money is I've decided that I'm gonna give it to a children's charity. So thank you guys for all of you who made an order and I hope you really enjoy your drawings. And I'm sorry for you guys who didn't make it in time um, because obviously couldn't do too many drawings because I would just be sitting at my desk for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Anyways, miracles, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.